Welcome back. You're watching News X. In a landmark for India's defense self reliance, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is delivering the first two Tejas Mk 1A fighter jets to the Indian Air Force today, October the 17th, at its Nasik facility. With Defense Minister Rajnath Singh flagging them off, these advanced jets boasting of AESA radar electronic warfare suits and air-to-air -air refueling mark a critical step in modernizing the IAF's fleet currently at 31 squadrons against a needed 42. With a recent rupees 62,370 crore order for 97 more jets and 65% indigenous content, the Tejas program strengthens national security and boosts the economy through 500 plus private sector partnerships. Flight trials begin post handover with full induction by 2026. HAL aims to scale production to 16 jets annually, but experts urge a target of 30 to address fleet shortages. Joining me on the broadcast is my colleague Brian Thomas with more details on this story. Brian, we are learning now that HAL will hand over two of the Tejas aircraft at its Nasik facility and Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will also be present there. Well, clearly now India is set to mark a major milestone in indigenous defence manufacturing with maiden flight of HAL, uh, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Tejas MK-1A fighter jet today and the Defence Minister will be flagging off the aircraft's first flight as part of the event, also, the minister is also inaugurating the new production line in Nasik, which will play a very pivotal role, very mm. crucial role in boosting the delivery of the Tejas fleet to the Indian Air Force. Under the current plan, the 180 Tejas aircraft are scheduled to be supplied by 2032 to 2033. The facility currently manufactures eight aircraft annually, with capacity expansion underway to increase output to 10 aircraft per year. Not only that, the Tejas MK-1A features significantly upgraded avionics and an advanced radar system making it more capable than its early variant. Not only that, it has also, the Prime Minister also became the first senior Prime Minister to fly in the Tejas jet that happened during his visit to Bangalore that happened in November 25, 2022, which was a very symbolic moment. Underscoring itself, India's push for self-reliance in the defence industry itself, yes. Brian, we are also learning that, uh, you know, this is 65% indigenous content and it's a big boost for the Make in India and Atma Nirbhar program. Take us through those details as well. Well, yes, clearly, you know, that's what we've been saying and that's what the Indian defense industry has been pitching. The fact that this new production, which will play a very crucial role also, is 65% indigenous. This also will be very important for the defense industry. The Tejas MK-1A is significantly very upgraded. It has these very upgraded avionics, which also speaks about 60% of, 65% rather, of indigenous, uh, where it also pitches Atman Nirbhar Bharat Make in India campaign and how our defense industry, our Indian military is booming. Not only that, the Tejas MK-1A features very upgraded avionics. This has an advanced radar system also that becomes and makes it very, very capable itself. Yes. Brian, we are also uh, wondering if there will be any more engine supply chain disruptions because that's what has been plaguing this aircraft uh, since actually HAL got the contract. We saw how uh, GE engines, we received the fourth one in September and we are due to receive another two in December. But do you think going forward, since we need 97 of those in our fleet, uh, this delay can call this delay can be there due to the supply chain. Well, uh, talking about uh, the, the MK1A also, this is a this this deal is linked to a major contract by HAL. Now this is made this is being made by HAL. This builds on the um, on on the earlier today that happened uh, that was the previous 83 Mark 1As. This brings our total program strength closer to 180 jets. Not only that, this is also, it received its fourth F404 uh, IN20 engine, 
from the General Electric under the contract supply schedule, bolstering prospects for accelerated deliveries. The engine deliveries has also been a very key uh, important feature that has been providing not only that the Nashik facility, which is also has third production line for the changes program, uh, the first two being in Bangalore. This line was also established with an estimate exceeding 150 crore. Not only that, this is expected to produce eight jets per year, initially raising AGL's total uh, Tejas production capacity to 24 aircraft annually crossing all lines. Not only that, HAL also aims to na ramp up Nasik's uh, output further potentially to 10 per year itself. Yes. Absolutely, Brian.